Original HP inks and cartridges, tuned to work together for better reliability. Hey there, I'm Tom Brown, your resident HP Inkologist. If you've ever told your customers that original HP ink cartridges provide better quality and reliability than those non-HP brands, they may ask you why. The short answer is this. Original HP inks and cartridges are specifically tuned to each other to deliver consistent quality and reliability from page one to empty. The long answer is a little more complicated. First, let's take a look at Original HP ink. It's not just colored water. Original HP ink is a complex, carefully engineered fluid that is designed to be chemically and physically compatible with complementary HP inks, cartridges, print heads, printers, and papers. We could talk about this for hours. I find it fascinating. But then again, I'm a geek. For the sake of time, let's just look at two components inside the cartridge. Original HP ink cartridges are designed for increased print quality from top to bottom. Each cartridge comes with a special foam. No matter how much ink is in the cartridge, the print head always receives the correct flow of ink. Without the foam, the ink flow would be uneven. When the cartridge is full, the ink could flow too fast. When the cartridge is almost empty, the flow of ink could slow to a trickle. Refilled cartridges rely on used foam that may be dry and crusty. This can lead to erratic flow rates and poor print quality. Now let's talk about the other component. Original HP ink cartridges come with a small filter. This is essentially a microscopic screen that protects the nozzles and strains impurities. A clean nozzle means you don't waste ink by cleaning the cartridges. You also get better looking prints. Refilled cartridges rely on used filters. It's sort of like using a used coffee filter to make a fresh cup of coffee. If your customers are trying to decide between original HP ink cartridges and refill cartridges, remind them that original HP inks and cartridges are designed to work together as a unit and provide a reliable printing experience. Happy printing! Now I'm going to get, I'm going to work some more on, the, on these two and, and try to improve the spacing. So I'm going to lay another sheet of graph paper down over the top of this. But before I do, I notice I got a big blob of wet ink here. And so here's a little trick. Take a piece of Kleenex, twirl the end, and just touch it to that blob and let capillary action suck that up. I don't care if it looks bad, I might even blot it like that. I don't care if it gets smudged, I just want it to go away. All right, second sheet of graph paper. I used to use masking tape. I'm glad they've come out with this less uh, sticky tape now. Now I'm going to turn on my light on my light table and actually make sure that these are lined up. And you see me knocking my pen on this rag to dry it and clean it and get it ready for another go. Okay, that just has too much space in it. So I'm not trying to slavishly copy what's underneath. I'm actually trying to improve upon it. And now I see a, something I would correct. This letter and that, they're not parallel. I'd improve that. You, you can do this over and over again until you're satisfied with it. There is also an exercise I was talking about, the spacing, where you can take colored pencils or I think I've got a highlighter here and you can actually color in between these letters 
and it helps you perceive that negative space and see if it feels about the same volume. In fact, medieval manuscripts were illuminated like that 